normally there would have been enough wind to to split up the peloton but uh, uh, nobody was uh, wanted to do that so uh, it was uh, mostly the same everybody came quite relaxed on the final parkour yeah and then it was uh, just up to to to, uh, to the team to keep uh, keep us up in the front to keep the bunch together and uh, worked out really well I mean for, for us as a team it was uh, important to compete in the sprint and uh, doing a lead out and it worked out really well I had a good position unfortunately I haven't had the legs uh, and uh, the best uh, rider won today so uh, but I'm looking forward to contest in, uh, in more sprints now okay so well, the legs were a problem it seemed like you were on a, like searching for another gear but where the legs yeah, let's say it's not my not my weather. Uh, the rain and the cold. Uh, I always have problems in these uh, conditions. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, I had a really difficult uh, last five six weeks with my injury, and uh, I mean, I'm, I can be happy now uh, today with the third place. And you recovered from Flanders. Did you feel it? Uh, in the sprint, it didn't feel like that I was recovered from that. But uh, I mean, uh, today is Shelly Prize, and. Uh, I mean, uh, nobody was asking me to to write my guts out in the, in the breakaway, and uh, yeah. Okay. Talk about five six uh, five six hours weeks after uh, your crash in Algarve. Do you think now it's over? You completely recover? Yeah, I mean, I still feel the the ribs, but uh, I mean, I, nearly for five weeks I couldn't do sprint training like I used to do, uh, and uh, yeah, therefore. Uh, I'm trying to be ready for the Giro in a uh, in couple of weeks. What's your plan before the Giro now? To be ready? No, I do uh, uh, Paris-Roubaix and then I'm uh, uh, going to see uh, how I can prepare the Giro.